Okay, what we're going to look at today is making a survival fire using potassium permanganate and glycerine. Now let's have a look at what I've got first of all. Once again with fire, it's all about preparation, preparation, preparation. I've made my little base there, my little raft to lift the fire off the damp ground. Put a nice surrounding so the fire can't spread. I've prepared all my feather sticks and I've prepared my kindling and I've prepared my main fuel. So let's have a look at potassium permanganate for survival fire. This is the file that I carry in my survival kit, that's potassium permanganate, and this is the little file of that glycerine that I carry as well. These mixed together, start of auction, will burst into flame. Let's have a look how you do it. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a bit of uh, newspaper, and all we simply do is pour your potassium permanganate into the newspaper. You then get your glycerine and you only want a couple drops of this stuff. So I'm just going to use this twig here, pop a couple of drops on when it's in. I'll wrap the paper nice and tight, place my feather sticks on top. So my two drops in, wrap it up nice and tight. Feather sticks on top. And my kindling on top of that. And then it's just a case of waiting for the chemical reaction to happen. See it's starting to smoke now. They just burst into flame, it's smoking good now, there we go. Lights the feather sticks, no problems whatsoever creeps up through, lights the kindling and there we have it, survival fire using potassium permanganate and glycerine. That'll burn nicely now, let's pop my main fuel on, fire done, easy, simple as that, potassium permanganate and glycerine.